This is freaking scary. <laughs> There's nowhere to shelter here. Just getting to pack a pickup right now. Drop bags in hand. Hopefully we drop them off. So we don't have to carry them all the way back. Got the bib now, right down there, 1.30. So it's real, starting tomorrow, 4 a.m. We're gonna try to get a couple hours of sleep, hopefully. It's gonna be kind of rough. Uh, we gotta get down to the buses. They leave tomorrow at 2.15, so it's gonna be very early. Uh, we have about an hour and a half bus ride to Bannock Pass where we start. We'll be able to sleep, so uh, try to get, hopefully, three, four hours tonight at least and uh, have a good day tomorrow. It's gonna be a fun, challenging race. The race director was giving a little speech, said that, uh, you know, once you make it to cutout, that's 38 miles, that's when the race gets hard from then on. So try to take care at the start, pace myself to finish well. We'll see. <laughs> it's real now, it is real now. It's, uh, it's 1.59, we're about to head down to the buses. Got the kit on right here. I have to take it off to get on the bus, but let's go for a long bus ride. Woo! Almost go time. Three minutes. Hey. Three minutes to go time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, guys. Just to go. <laughs> Just came through the first aid station, Digmore Mine, uh, 4.5 miles, just under an hour. Feeling okay? Trying to keep it controlled. <sighs> we're up, what are we at anyway? We're up pretty high right now. Um, we're up at almost 9,000 feet right now. All right, time to move. Probably won't show up on camera, but through those trees is the sun is starting to come up. The sky is getting nice and orange. That is beautiful. Wow. Man, love it. Look at that. I gotta keep reminding myself I need to save GoPro battery and not like film everything, but holy cow. This has to be one of the most beautiful sunrises I've ever seen in my life. I'm sure the GoPro is not doing it justice. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Nothing over, huh? I guess so. Ah, oh. oh, no gate there. <laughs> All 
right, getting close to the next aid station, which is Goat Mountain. Headlamp is off, as you can tell. Sun is up. Oh, lots of climbing. <laughs> Feeling pretty good, though. <laughs> that's cruel. I think that's the aid station on top of the hill. Or mountain. Some of that climb up that little road back there was 25% grade, over 9,000 feet at 9170 right now. I'm feeling it, Whew. but man, it feels good. All right, coming in right now to uh, I think Goat Mountain Aid Station. This is about 13, I don't know, 13 and a half miles. Some of that is 30% grade, and I'm at 9,300 altitude right now. Whew. Ah, feeling that. Oh my gosh. Ah. 9,416 feet up. Highest point ever. Subscribe. That's right, dude. Do seriously. <laughs> Love it, man. I right, just passed 20 mile aid station. I watched his 19.4, but whatever. Did, of course, tweak my ankle coming down that service road back there. Not terribly. I can feel it is swollen a little bit, just gotta keep moving. Par for the course with me, huh? Moving along. This is about an eight mile segment to Lem High Pass. Man, we are dropping down a lot right now. We've been going downhill steady for uh, at least over a mile. That descent, that was no joke. I got my quads, man, sheesh. And the descent to the finish is gonna be even worse. <laughs> oh well, it's gonna be fine. I'm about uh, <clears throat> 24 and a half miles in right now. Four hours, 51 minutes. 4,200 feet of climbing. <sighs> Almost to Lehigh, another couple miles. Almost in Dalim High Pass now. Way over there, you can see that little cut in the grass. We gotta go up that, that's after the aid station. So I'm close. Whew. Coming into Dalim High Pass, aid station. Mile 27-ish. All right, just leaving Lehigh Pass Aid Station there behind me. You can probably see it. Oh, we gotta go all the way up this. It's a good climb. Pretty quick at the aid station. That was my slowest one because I had to get my drop bag, restock on my gels. 55K starts down there. So I've got 55K left. Five hours, 34 minutes, 27.61 miles. Ah, these hills, no joke. This climb out of Lim High Pass is no joke. Gosh. Ah. Way down there, you can see like a reflective something that's very near Lim High Pass. 
Oh my gosh, it's like over a thousand foot climb. <sighs> it's steep. Ah, <sighs> onward. <sighs> 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 Still beautiful. It's hard, but it's beautiful. All right, just rolled 31 miles, six hours, 29 minutes. About right on pace where I wanted to be. But the second half is definitely not going to be the same. It's going to be slower because we got that scree field, nasty climb up to Goldstone. So we're moving though. Hey, can I get around you? And you're right here. Thank you. He wasn't too happy. <laughs> Getting ready to come into Warm Springs Aid Station. There's all the crew vehicles. Getting close. Cruising along right now on the way to the cutout aid station. I am a little over 35 miles in. Aid station is supposed to be around 38-ish miles. But from that part, that's when it starts to get hard. That's when we gotta go up Goldstone Pass. So I'm trying to conserve. Man, the horse flies through here are just ridiculous. All the time, like four or five buzzing around me. I've already been bitten a couple times. Now I'm entering into the burn area. Pretty, uh, pretty devastating, man. Goodness. I think this was either last year or the year before. But man, yeah, it's just destroyed. Well, I can hear the uh, cheers from the aid station at cutout. I'm getting close. I just passed some ladies, uh, probably crewing. I said it was, you know, pretty close, whatever that means. I need to get some water because I've realized my hands and wrists are a little bit puffy. I have too much electrolytes, I think, so I need to flush it out. Oh, we're almost there. Thank you. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh. Yeah. All right, just leaving the cutout aid station. Now we've got to go uh, up to Goldstone Pass. So this is a, a long one that has a very big exposed climb, but there is uh, snow to cool off with. So I'm excited about that. I switched over to water in this one. Still have some tailwind in this flask. Overall, feeling pretty good, considering I'm 38 miles in. I crossed over 38 miles just under eight hours, so I'm happy. So one funny thing that I've noticed being <coughs> out here at altitude is <laughs> I have been uh, a little more gassy, you know, a little more flatulence. And uh, it turns out it's a legit thing. Uh, Lee and I did some Googling and it's called HAFE, H-A-F-E, High Altitude Flatus Expul Expulsion. Basically your stomach, your everything inside expands at altitude, makes you feel bloated and have more gas. So there's a tidbit for you. Bet you didn't know that. Maybe you did. Now well, we have another burn area on the way to Goldstone Pass. I'm at the base of the big climb up Goldstone Pass. I do see some snow. I should be out of the tree line here soon. Oh man. Detour, I need some snow, it's hot. Oh my gosh. Snow down the shirt, snow under the hat.
over 9,000 feet and still climbing a good bit still. <clears throat> oh, for my friends back home. <sighs> oh my gosh, more snow. Um, for my friends back home. Yeah, imagine going up the final push of Chimney Top at Frozen Head, but over 9,000 feet. That's what that was just like, I just did. Oh my gosh, that was steep. I guess I'm going up there. That's oh. <coughs> looking down into Montana. Gorgeous. All right, back on the trail. Back on the trail. This is going to be a very slow section. Still doing more climbing. More climbing. Gosh, man. So beautiful, though. On my left is Idaho. And then on the right is Montana. Both very beautiful. This is probably one of the slowest I've ever gone in a race right now. Sheesh, man. And it's gonna get slower. Because over to my left is what I have to go up next. If you can see through the trees there, that ridge up to the top of that mountain. Whew. It's wearing this Tennessee boy out. All right, I was mistaken. <clears throat> I don't have to go up that one. I have to go up that one. I can see a uh, trail way up there at the top. I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm going up. I'll find out. But man, isn't Idaho just so beautiful over there? Can't forget about Montana. Going off of my map here, I think I'm on this uh, summit of this one, or almost. And then that is the final summit. So that must be the scree section, or it might be after that, I don't remember. But I think that might be the final summit. I hope so. Yeah, if you look way up on the top of that, there's somebody in an orange or red shirt. Sheesh, that's not, that doesn't look fun. Oh, crikey. Which way am I going? Ah, this way. Check out those lakes down there, those alpine lakes, man. It's awesome, it's beautiful. These rocks sound like glass when they move. It's just a little steep. Just a little steep. I don't wanna slip off that way. Just when I thought I was at the top. Nope. Nice and windy. That wind feels really good. Got more snow under the hat, in the chest, and in the back. It's warm. I think this is the highest point on the course. Over there is where I came from, way over there. A mile still? All right, scratch that. This is not the highest point, darn it. That's like a dream breaker right there. Crap. That's right, I gotta go up the Janky Lake, up that area. That's the highest point, doggone it. I'm at uh, like 9,700 something here. Ah, oh, that's disheartening. Well, this is a stupid steep descent. And I've started to pass uh, a good bit of 55K people. Oh, man. Yeah. Not so steep right here, but up there, my gosh, it was so steep. I just need to get, I need to get to this aid station. I'm almost out of water. I need aid. This, this section took a long time. I uh, just walking out of the uh, <clears throat> um, Goldstone Pass aid station. Oh, I had to sit for a minute and drink a whole flask of water because I was 
pretty much out of everything when I came into that aid station. It was rough. Oh, I got two flasks of water, a uh, flask of tailwind after I drank one whole flask of water. Had a little cup of Pepsi, uh, watermelon, salted potatoes. Oh my gosh, my legs are beat. Got 4.7 miles to Yankee Lake, which has like an 800 foot climb in it. And then after that is the scree field on tired freaking legs. Yay. Let's go do it. It's quite windy and the sky is changing. I think a uh, rain cell is moving in. Hopefully no lightning. Look at that lake. Definitely cloudy now. Raining over there for sure. All right, this is the next ridge we got to traverse all the way up there. Yikes. Don't trip. <laughs> Sheesh, man. One slip. Jeez. That's scary. Shit. Oh, you see the light? Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. Oh man. That is gorgeous. Well, we've hit part of the scree field. It's rocky. Very slow going. And right now we're at almost 9,900 feet. for an east coaster just hit 10,000 feet woohoo now more treacherous rock maneuvering I would be really surprised if anybody runs this trip over that. Ten thousand thirty-three. Definitely not what we wanted. There's a storm right there. We just saw a bolt of lightning and it's raining. I'm trying to get off of this as quickly and safely as we can. This is freaking scary. Lightning literally just struck that ridge and caught it on fire. This is freaking scary. There's nowhere to shelter. Now we're finally coming down off the mountain. It was a little, little sketchy up there. I can see the aid station in the distance. All right, just leaving the last aid station, <coughs> Bohannon Creek. And this road is a creek. Had a couple little cups of smoothie, a couple of drinks of Pepsi, but that wasn't so good. So now it's about five and a half-ish miles, I think, to the finish. But this road is rocky. I'm just super thankful to be off at that scree with that lightning that was Whew, that was that was crazy. It's an odd smell. Yeah, man, it's right there. Uh. going to put that fire out from the lightning. I don't know, it's really weird that it's that low. I'm 
I'm pushing pretty good right now because there's another guy behind me trying to catch me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just finish. From Deer Lodge, Tennessee. Yeah. Right, man. Good job. Thank you. What size hoodie would you like? Uh, probably extra large. Okay. Extra large. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank well, I just got back to the room. Uh, I caught the shuttle back. Race went, um, you know, pretty well. Uh, you know, you saw the video. Uh, but I finished in 14 hours and 33 minutes. I think I was 26th overall. Uh, they don't give medals or anything, but they did give me a, uh, a license plate. It says 2022 Scree Slayer. Um, yeah, it's a run around some Scree. So, and also this hoodie, when you finish, you get this hoodie, which is really nice and comfortable. Uh, I was super cold at the finish line, sitting there waiting for Lee, so I changed, put this on, some pants. Um, and then also got you know a shirt yesterday at packet pickup so a nice rabbit shirt too which is really nice this was epic this was a this was a beautiful race it was it was scary at times up there on the screen with the lightning but i highly recommend the race it's it's awesome so give it a shot but don't forget to give it a thumbs up that'd be cool you know i appreciate that i'm tired i need to get some sleep too <laughs> but thank you for watching i appreciate you all and i'll see you on the next one